I'm going to go over those chord options just in case you want to give it a try so you can just uh, work on the rhythm at least uh, without having to worry about the, the chord changes into the less familiar shapes. So the first thing would be on line number four. There you have the A5 chord for two bars and then the C chord and then the G chord. So what you can do, this is an alternative for right now, so you got the A5, then you can go to a C5 here, where you got 3, 5, 5, so 3, 5, 5, starting on the A string, and then drop it down to the E string for 3, 5, 5 on the G. So A5, C5, G5, so that's one alternative. Uh, the next place to go would be Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, sixth line. So the D5 chord happens twice, then the A minor, then the G. So what you can do is you got the D5 for those two bars, and then just drop it straight down for the A5 instead of an A minor, and then you can replace the G with the G5. So the D5, A5, G5. So that's an alternative there. And then for the very next line, where you have the D5 twice, E minor, and then the D chord for one bar. Just a uh, pretty simple line. You just got the D5 for those two bars. Slide up two frets for the E5 instead of E minor. And then back down to replace the D major chord with a D5 power chord. And then other alternative place would be like this bridge part, which I never labeled a bridge. At least not according to my scan. Maybe I did on your page. I don't know. Anyway, so after the chorus, <coughs> where you got the really weird timing stuff, it's going between the E minor, D, E minor again. So you, again, you can just use the chord you just did. If it makes it any easier, just to work on the rhythm. You got an E5 replacing E minor, D5 replacing the D major, and then back to the E5 to replace the E minor, and then just basically slide between the E5 and the D5 there. And then for that next line, before the chorus is played again, you can re again replace that E minor with the E5, replace the D major with the D5, replace the C major with the C5, but I'd keep playing that D5 at the end there the inverted way. Because, like you said, we have covered that, so, you know, good to keep running back into that. I think that's definitely doable right now. So, again, these are just alternatives to try, so you can at least work on the rhythm aspect of it if the chord changes the way it's written. is still slowing you down if you feel it's too much. <clears throat> but, yeah, the chords are sounding way better. And, um, it's very cool that you're writing your own stuff now. So, yeah, it, it gets easier the more that you do it. <clears throat> but, good to see you having fun. And uh, we'll see you again in a week.